we were talking about another solo track you played. I think it's called River. I'm not sure if that's the one I heard, but you were talking about how you did it all in live, able oh, to oh, live, oh, or a different that's track. A track called Tone Program. Oh, Tone Program, right. And um, uh, yeah, I was talking about how um, with with this track, um, live has this feature for doing um, what they call clip automation, mm -hmm. and it allows you to have um, automation as a loop. Hmm. And that can be applied to any parameter in your, you know, in what you're doing, um, and uh, you can independently loop that, independent of the actual track that is being looped. Yeah. So you might have yeah. a, a 64 measure part, but you're looping a one bar or a one beat bit of automation, and so it allows you to experiment really quickly with um, automating in a way that you wouldn't normally do with mm -hmm. a, other programs. So um, uh, what I ended up doing in this track was. Um, it's a it's a really upfront kind of synth sound, and I wanted that upfront feeling, but I also like I also like the details that having reverb adds. Yeah. yeah. And so to strike a balance between the two, I was doing you know really really fast automation of going from dry to wet. Right. And so you get the feeling of reverb, but mm -hmm. it still feels like a dry sound too. Yeah. And that's that's it, it just it, it has this it's almost like a illusion. Ah. And because you're hearing it, it it's so in fast, quick succession. It's so fast, so it's like. It sounds like a reverberated sound, but it also feels like a dry sound because it's literally half and half. Hmm, yeah. it's, like, it's going so back and forth so fast. It's almost like, you know, flickering through for animation. You know, it's like yeah. you, your brain stops hearing whether it's dry or wet and starts perceiving it as one thing. Right. And um, uh, and so I, and I like making sounds like that that really exploit a, a feature of a program right. that you might have not done any other way. So it's like you got you got to a place that you wouldn't have gotten to two years ago because you didn't have that same tool. Yeah, so absolutely. I think that's really always the, the, it's like, for me, I always go for the, what what does this tool do that nothing else does and go and <laughs> exploit that to yeah. its maximum. Yeah. Because that's when you get these moments and these mistakes and you mm -hmm. know you get, you get to see the machine break down and you get to, you <laughs> yeah. know, you, it's like that's when the chaos happens. Yeah.